Hey guys, it's Barrett. How you doing? It is uh, the third video of the Stone Elf, and it's no longer a Stone Elf. Now it's a statue of some sort of deity, some sort of goddess. And we are continuing to build all the layers on top of her, doing all the moss and trees and bushes and everything, rocks, trying to get it all together moving things around. It's been um, kind of crazy at this point because I'm just throwing stuff on and hoping that it fits. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. And a lot of it is just just taking a chance and throwing stuff on there. Here I had an idea. I'm going to use her instead of have, having the 3D face, maybe do this statue of a some sort of animal deity. And I was like, no, it just doesn't, it doesn't really fit. I tried it, but it didn't really work. So you'll see I kind of got rid of it later. And then I'm thinking about ways to connect the other parts of her, of her body, her hair and her neck and everything using trees and vegetation. Just manipulating things, trying to make them fit in 3D space. So then finally I realized, okay, that 3D face isn't working. So let me try to do it with a um, more of a traditional sculpture face. And I, first I didn't like it, but then the more I looked at it, it felt more like a real actual stone sculpture that you would see if somebody had built it, which I really did appreciate that, the look of it. So at first it was a little funky, but then I got it to, to fit a little bit better and I was happy with it. So now we're continuing to put more and more trees and bushes in there, put a little, little links in there hiding. <laughs> like I said before, I like to put those little animals kind of hiding and poking their heads out. Just see if you can see those little things, little details that make it more interesting. And then we got a little owl there. I tried to bring that big branch back, but it just didn't work. So I just tossed it. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't going to work. And then that, that arm in the background just wasn't feeling the love. It needed a little more attention. So I started putting more of the moss and vegetation on it. And um, just keep manipulating stuff and then keep working on that arm. So I, I just, uh, I'd love to hear people's thoughts on, on what you think of my artwork. And one reason I'm sharing these videos, I want to hear from comments and whatever, how you guys feel about it. Because I'm doing this for myself, of course, but I also am doing it so that other people can appreciate it and, and enjoy it. And I want to know if you guys feel some sort of connection or if there's a story that you guys can come up with when you see it. And that would really, really add a lot of value to the artwork for not just me, but for other people, I think. And I would love to do more videos like this. And I, I, I think I'm getting a little more inspired, to be honest. And I, I want that journey to continue. Be interesting to, to do a series of these kind of like deity or giant fantasy surreal objects with people kind of stumbling upon them in nature and just finding them. So I was thinking of a, what's a cool name or title for this series? So if you guys can imagine a bunch of artwork in this kind of style, this look. I'd love to hear some suggestions for a name for the project, like a, a title, like Giants and Little Guy Finds Giants. I don't know, just, <laughs> that's a terrible name, but you know what I mean. Just come up with something and I, I would love to hear it and maybe that would uh, give me some ideas for a good name for it. And you saw there, I was kind of playing with uh, waterfalls. Now I'm starting to build the flow of the water, which I do a lot in my artwork. I try to, I try to have um, water flowing in almost all my artwork. I just love the idea of water, and you know, waterfalls and all that. It, it's just really cool to include that element in your in your life and in the artwork, and then just trying to make it all fit. So the water source is at the top of her head, several places, and it's just dripping down and flowing down her body, back down onto the river at the bottom. 
this kind of adds a little uh, visual kind of you know you you start at the top and you work your way down visually and the water is kind of a white bright color and it just makes your eye kind of follow it so you start from the top and you kind of follow it down and you get to see all the details and you get all the way to the bottom so composition wise that's a little trick just to try to get the viewer to to see it in a different kind of way kind of guide their eyes basically so i masked out the bottom rocks there so i created this like kind of foggy thick mist because that hole in in her body then in the middle there there was a white kind of opening and it didn't really fit because it, behind her was just solid rocks so i went ahead and made that smoke layer and now i'm starting to add in some ambient light because it felt so out of touch with the rest of the scene and here comes the clouds and the mist i love this part this is my favorite part is putting in the the final touches where now i'm starting to actually make it look more realistic in 3d space and we're adding our little deer friend in there i wasn't really sure where to put him it took me a while but i finally found out that i would just put him right there on the on the top of the rock so now we're going oh i i created a smart object with the lady and all the vegetation and the and the rocks and then we were thinking oh let me just uh let me just throw a, a little guy in there maybe he just stumbled upon her and that made me think about oh that would be great if we could create a series like a, a scene like this where the guy kind of stumbles upon or the girl stumbles upon the scene like they're out hiking or whatever and they they just find this really giant mountain in the in the smoke and, and it's really kind of interesting idea and now I was thinking, okay, those rocks are a little boring. I'm gonna throw in some more of the temple elements to make it look like she's built out of this giant kind of, I mean, the, sorry, the temple's built out of out of her and they're just coming out and it's all kind of abandoned. And it's, it's sort of like still there, but it's it's not really quite finished, I guess, or it's been there for millions and millions of years. Uh, just adding more smoke it's color color correcting doing um like a screen um, blending mode oh and i fixed her her cheek her chin there and her neck where it was a little too harsh so i kind of erased it all and then uh cleaning up the, the smoke here and adding a little bit more clouds trying to make it look a little more believable but not too much clouds because otherwise you get over overdone Gave the gave the person a little walking stick, so it kind of looks more like they're they're actually out there hiking or doing something. But yeah, it's coming together here, and this is pretty much the end at this point. I am uh, adding a yeah a few little touches like birds and and just to make it feel a little bit more realistic. And then my goal is, which you'll probably see later, it won't be in this video. I'm going to animate everything. I'm going to try to at least the water and the birds and everything. So anyway, I hope you guys really like like this uh, process and here's the final result. And I'd love to hear your comments. Please comment below and share. And if you want to check out my art, go to my website, barrettbiggers.com. You can find prints and um, canvases and just uh, really appreciate you watching. Thanks for following. Take care.